everyone, welcome back to the second episode of the Minor Magic 6 playthrough. I am your host, Huey Plays, and thank you for joining me. Uh, so last episode, we created a party that consists of Pablo the Knight, Charlotte the Archer, Pedro the Cleric, and Stephanie the Druid. We went through the stats, uh, as you can see there. We went through their inventory, uh, gave them the weapons, and kitted them out. And we're just outside the entrance to New Sorpagal at the moment. Um, this is where you spawn in, start off the game, and we'll get straight into it, I reckon. Uh, we'll get into the game proper and play the quests and uh, get cracking. So. Oh, that's right, Pablo is storing all the items at the moment, so I reckon we'll sell these. Uh, the clubs are going to be absolutely worthless, but, um, you know, it's just more so getting rid of the space that they take up. So this is the weapon shop. We'll sell those. Um, and we'll make one person the merchant person, but I just need to figure out who. I'm thinking maybe Pablo, because he's got no miscellaneous skills. Whereas Charlotte and Pedro do, and Stephanie, uh, druids aren't really, don't really see them as merchants, so I reckon we'll go with Pablo. And let's face it, uh, who wouldn't want to buy stuff off Pablo, so. Can I help you find anything? Yes, yes you can, Wilma. Uh, can you buy these off me? Thank you very much. Thanks. Come again. Will do. Okay, so. We've got some more space, that's all good. So, alright, so what you want to do when you start off is every uh, horse stable you come across, there will be horseshoes. As you can see here. And they pretty much grant you uh, plus two in skill points. At the moment, we obviously got zero because we level one, don't got enough experience to get to level two. Um, so, we'll probably give the horseshoes to um, those that are like prioritizing the skills that we need the most. So, whether that be body magic for healing or to some trap early on so we don't die, uh, we're opening chests and stuff. Um, you know, I'll do that right now actually, thinking about it. Because Disarm Trap is your best friend in Modern Magic in every game. Honestly, it's a lifesaver, so do that for Charlotte. Uh, what you want to do first, though, is go to the Lonely Night Tavern. Hello, come on in. Go to Andover Potbello. You just gotta love the names, don't you? <laughs> As you can see, he is a follower of Bar. That will be a recurring theme throughout this game. So, if we hop out for a sec, um, we got the letter here, which is a quest item, so as you can see, we've got a thousand gold, which is what you want, and he's got a quest, pretty much, you gotta go, um, he wants us to do the Temple of Bar Favor, get the, oh god, I'm gonna have trouble pronouncing this, Candelabra, um, that's in another town, so uh, we'll get there eventually. Um, if we go to our quest, press Q, we got bring Solomon's letter to Regent Wilbur Humphrey at Castle Iron Fist, which we'll go there now for two reasons, and retrieve the candelabra from the abandoned temple in Noose. Oh, there is here. Okay, I'm thinking of something else. Uh, so yeah, straight up, you want to go to the coach. Uh, no one's got merchant, so merchant reduces the travel cost as well. So at the moment it's 25. Uh, once you get your merchant skill up, we'll go down to like 20, 18, 16, stuff like that. So we'll go to Castle Iron Fist here. And for two reasons, it's very important to do the quest. Um, one... Pretty sure we get 5,000 gold, which which will be crucial. And we'll level up to level 3, I believe. So, we'll do that, and we'll visit the trainer here, 
he lives there and we'll get stuck into it from there so we want to go here first Hold. who goes there master nikolai iron fist prince and heir to the throne of enroth nikolai's like a a bored teenager pretty much so we press that um he wants to join the circus and he will join our party we'll deliver the letter to wilbur humphrey there we go Yep, 5,000 gold, so we got over 6,000 now, which is very good to start off. Uh, Lord Kilburn, I think, got to find the shield. Um, God, yeah, that quest is for later in the game, for sure. Uh, then Crusaders, so each class can be promoted twice, I believe. So, Knight can be promoted to, uh, God, I can't even remember. I know Paladins can be up, uh, promoted to Crusaders, but we don't have any. Um, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so we got Nikolai with us. Pretty much as soon as we rest, he will leave and we'll have to go find him. Um, there's like a town that has all these cannibals. Um, yeah, cannibals. <laughs> um, and he'll be there. Well, it depends on what month, I believe. So he can also be in other places where the circus is. But every time I've played, he's been there. So probably find him there. Hey, look at the train. So we can level up to level 2 for 30 gold, which is nothing at all. Well done. Level 3 for 60, and we'll do it for everyone. You can press tab to cycle through. Oh, yeah, here we go. It seems that Prince Nikolai disappeared while you were resting. So yeah, he'll be at the circus and the quest. Uh, Q. Uh, find and return Prince Nikolai the Castle Iron Fist. So we'll do that. Um, go here. Uh, now we've got 10. Well, Charlotte's got 12 because the horseshoe, but. Everyone's got 10 skill points, and our experience has jumped up to over 3,000 now. So, we've got skills here. Uh, with Pablo being a knight, I think sword is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, to go to expert in any skill, you need 4. So that's why I bumped it up to 4. I can't remember where where it is to upgrade to expert. It might be here in... um. Oh, what's this town called? Castle Iron Fist, yeah. It might be here. Can't remember. Um, we'll go to Charlotte, the Archer. You know I'm going to do bow. And we'll do Disarm Trap as well. Um, we'll go to Pedro, the Cleric. Body Magic. Nice and easy. And Stephanie, the Druid. Um, I reckon I'll do... Alternate between body and leather. I'm doing leather because they don't. Ha uh, Stephanie doesn't have much health being a druid, so I'll bump up her armor class. We'll get her some better armor and whatnot. Um. All right, so we got a uh, bit less than um, six thousand gold. So I'll show you a neat little trick. Um, come down here. We can uh, learn the bow skill for everybody. So I think this weapon shop, weapons? you can buy bows, yep, and special is what we'd want. Oh, that's a good one. Um, so to learn it, I think we have to go to this house. Hi. The quest. We have to become a member, yada yada, do that. Um, and is it... Looking for a weapon? Oh, no, I think it's... Ready to yeah, here. Yep. New. We'll learn um, bow for everybody. Will be useful. And we can also learn other skills at the Guild Masters. So, back in New Sorpical, you can learn, um, not learn, but you can buy a membership for the elemental uh, classes, um, spiritual, mind, and all that as well. So, we'll do that too. Um, so we can see Pablo can learn chain plate. Ultimately, we'll do plate. Um, 
we won't be finding any play straight off the bat. Uh, so I'll save that for later. Um, Charlotte uh, thinks she can only learn Chain being an archer, so we'll give her that. Uh, same as Pedro the Cleric, Chain, and Stephanie the Druid, Shield, for sure. So we'll go here and buy some sheep, uh, some bows, everyone. So uh, Pablo and Charlotte both have bows. We'll give the best bow to the archer for obvious reasons. Special is where all the good stuff are. Mostly where the enchanted stuff is too, but early on that won't be the case. And then if in the buy section it's just your basic stuff. But you can find a good deal in there every now and again. So we'll um, either this one or this one is the best. I think the way to work out damage is 4d2 plus 3, so I think it's 4 times 2 plus 3, um, and here it's 5 times 2 plus 2, I think that's how it works, um, so we'll get that, 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 and that, uh, we'll test it out, so we'll give it a crossbow. Ooh, look at that shoot, plus 10 already, and 7 to 11. And then we'll see with this, 7 to 12, but one less shoot. Honestly, I'll probably give her that. Um, cause she's got high enough accuracy anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, we'll give Pedro that bow. Uh, we'll give crossbow the Stephanie. And the longbow is better than crossbow, so we'll give uh, Pablo the longbow. Look at that. 5 to 10, 7 to 12, 7 to 12, and 7 to 11. It is so crucial to have bows early on, so I'm glad I got that out of the way. Um, or I got shield. Uh, we'll see if we can get Charlotte some chain. Uh, Pedro chain as well, and Stephanie a shield. Don't touch the merchandise. So yeah, we can get like gauntlets, uh, helmets, shields. So we'll definitely get that stuff. Um, Got to be mindful of our money as well. Um, all these are. I only get plus two more armor, so it's not crucial. Um, Oh, I'm tempted to get this helm for Stephanie because she's got nothing. Uh, oh, we'll, we'll get her the shield. The, deserves the shield. Um, but I don't have any chain or plate, so... And I just realised... <laughs> I'm a bit of an idiot. Uh, staff is a two-handed weapon, and I made her learn shield, which she need a one-handed weapon. Um, yeah, I'm a bit of a nuffy. Uh, anyway, this shield's better than these anyway, so. Um, who has the least arm class? Or I'll give it to Pedro. He needs it more. And we'll sell the shield. I'm a bit of a nuffy for that, but. But that's okay. We all still make mistakes and learn, don't we? So. Alright, we'll get some horseshoes while we're here. Aha, uh -huh, see how that turned yellow, where the cursor is. Um, when it's green, it means you're safe from enemies. Um, Alright, we'll set uh, first aid as our ready spell, so when we press S... Um, good show. Good show. Yeah, so we can use that when we, when we need to. Um, so yeah, when it turns yellow, it means there are enemies nearby. And as we can see, we got our first enemy, the Fanatic of Bar. We can press Enter to er to go into turn-based. We can use our bow to just demolish him. Easy peasy, Japanesey. Look at that. And enemies uh, have gold on them, so. The more we kill, the better it is for us. Uh, we'll get the horseshoes. We'll store them for now. Um, 
there's a house in here. Um, and also, these two slots here, we can get uh, civilians. Though this one's an armor, so if we press join, she. Oh no, he. Uh, for she for there for a moment. Um, he fixes armor, and all he does is charge 200 gold and 2% and of all the gold we find, which is. A pretty good deal, but there are a lot better out there, so um, some you can like teleport, some you can um, like increase merch and buy 10, there's like some ridiculous stuff, so no one lives there apparently. Um, so yeah, we'll, um, we'll find some along the way, apparently, if I press Z, it Shows like a summary of the stats and um, how much fame and rep we have. Um, obviously, if our rep is lower, people aren't going to want to talk to us necessarily. Um, and fame is pretty much just like uh, how much each quest gives you. Uh, so the more you do, the higher it will be. So what we'll do is rest on the grass because when you rest on grass, it's only one food. But if I go to the dirt, for example, I think it's two. Yeah, so makes sense to find grass. I think desert is three or four even. Um, it's not ideal. So we'll rest because we can't go back to New Sorpagul. So we'll wait another day. Closed. We'll wait. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I didn't need to use the food. You can... Rest and heal for food, um, but all I needed to do was uh, wait until the dawn, which doesn't use any food. Again, I'm a nuffy. <laughs> yeah, we'll go back to New Sorcerer. Alright, I need to get my act together. Alright, just sipping some water. Alright, so, back here in our starting town. Um... I want to learn air magic, Stephanie, so I can cast Wizard Eye, which is pretty much shows enemies on the minimap here. You can zoom in and out. I wish you can zoom out more because it'll be handy, but um, what we'll do is go along the houses here because I know some have quests, like I think this one does. Body. Look at that, I can already become an expert in body magic. 1000. But I won't because of my gold situation. Um, but we'll definitely get Greetings that at some point. Um, Greetings and salutations. Sometimes it can get a bit repetitive hearing all of that. And look at that, we've got some goblins over there. Um, we'll get to them in a tick. Um, fucking, yeah, that's an, this is another guild you can get membership to. Um, I'm trying to find, I think the membership's on the other side. Um, Hello. we'll get there in a minute. Um, hey, how's it going? Oh, I want to learn some air magic. Um, I know one of these has... Hello. Yeah, Elemental Guild will do that. Uh, quest. This one is killing the Spider Queen. Which we shall do uh, probably in a, another couple nice of videos, I imagine. Uh, yeah, this Guide of the Self, that's for like the spiritual side of things, so we'll do that. What quest is you? Oh yeah, the Missing Daughter. Uh, that's in the same place as the Spider Queen from memory. Hey, good to see you. Uh, was it where the snakes are? Oh, I can't remember. Um, bodybuilding will want to learn. It increases hit points um, every time we put points into it. Hello. Blades End, we'll get that too. Um, Buccaneers Lair, we'll get that for sure. We'll get some Cobra Eggs once we go to where the, where the Vipers are. There's a dungeon that has them, so... Definitely get some eggs from there. Um, Closed. 
Oh, there's a Tom here. Might like a couple of hours. Say if there's anything. You find anything. Say if there's anything useful here. Uh, they typically sell like gauntlets, belts, rings, and stuff. Um, nothing we can't find in our ventures. Don't want to waste our gold early on. Um, oh, where's? All right, yeah, that's right. Um, so up here is the temple. So if I was to hurt myself, I can come here. Or if I'm dead, I can resuscitate myself. Um, is this air magic? I reckon it is. No, oh, fire. Oh yeah, but you can get... Alright, yep. Yeah. So I want to learn air magic. And I want to get wizard eye. Look at that. Effecto. Yes. And I'll give a horseshoe to Stephanie. And pump a bit into air magic. So I can get wizard eye a bit up. And I want to get fire magic as well. So I can get torchlight, because in dungeons now it gets pretty dark. And so once I'll get enough gold, I'll do that for sure. Alright, our first uh, proper group of enemies. The goblins up here. There's only three of them. Look at how easy this will be. Press enter, turn base mode, and since we all got bows, just hold A. Easy peasy. All in a day's work, mate. If you've seen those TikToks. He's a ripper. Um, easy gold. Uh, expert learning. Um, the people that like teach expert and master, they have info on where the people above them are so like john tuck will be the master while donald is expert so i think you can go to auto notes uh, one of these is skills i believe uh i know one of them is it quick reference no and it might be in the like my magic seven and eight but i'm pretty sure you can like check where each skill teacher is. Um, I know around here there are some chests. Uh, so I'll look around. Um, we'll get that. Um, uh, some rocks as well can be hidden chests. A good way to check is see how it says rock uh, lowercase. I'm pretty sure the ones that like chess have capital R at the start. I remember reading that one day and it worked. Um, I just need to remember where they are. Um, oh, yeah, here's a chest. Good old Charlotte is our disarm trap expert. Ooh, that is a very good sword. I don't know. Uh, who's I don't identifying? Know. I, don't know. I don't know. But we'll definitely take that sword. I don't know. I don't and that know. cutlass. Okay, yeah, I need to learn. Um, okay, so it's Pedro. We'll give him the other horseshoe. Bump up, identify them. I don't know. You can learn that at least. Um, Alright, that's less damage. I oh, know that's like plus know. five or something. It does a lot of damage. You don't need don't to know. identify it to like equip it. So, look at this. He does 6 to 12, and he does 10 to 16, yeah, plus 5, so it goes from 3 to 8. Pablo is an absolute beast already, does 10 to 16 damage. Um, so we'll sell these, keep that there. Um, okay, so... As you can see, it's turned yellow. We'll uh, use a wizard eye. As you can see, the group of enemies over there, uh, they're protecting um, a dungeon. I'm pretty sure it's the abandoned temple. Um, easy peasy. Okay, we'll stay here because we've got some mages and they are. 
trying to shoot at us, so we don't really appreciate that. So as a result, we're going to kill him. I think that's fair. Alright, our first damage. Uh, Pedro, it's only two damage, it's nothing. Um, we should be able to... I just realised there are people behind us. Uh huh. That's why you get Wizard Eye and check the map. And plus, they got louder too. Um, we should be able to easy, easily get rid of them. This is why you learn bow. It's honestly OP early on. Um, then it peters out a bit in the mid game. Um, that's to be expected. I'm going to have it easy the whole time, and it definitely gets hard, trust me. But it is manageable if you know what you're doing. Uh, page down to go up. We'll go back down. Okay, so we've scared them off. Um, we'll kill them so they don't... Uh, so we can't get them. Uh, we'll go up. Where's the other one? Somewhere like that. There you are, you cheeky bastard. Alright, so. Uh, we'll get the bodies so we can get the gold. We'll go up this mountain here. You can use X to jump as well, so do that. Um, We'll go at the top here, work our way down. Don't think there's anything on top of here, really. Yeah, no, we don't want to. We want to stay here. Um, we'll look down. So delete button for me does that. Right, yeah. See how their bodies are on there. You can either click using the mouse or press spacebar. Um. I like to use space bar when there's like a shit ton of bodies together, it's satisfying. Uh -huh. The noise it makes, but we'll just use the mouse here. Oh, you bastard. So this is where it gets tricky sometimes. Oh, there we go. Um, and there we go. Okay, so... There's a couple chests around here, so... We'll save it. Huey one. Um, Charlotte's the disarm trap. Yep, she is. So, get that. We'll get Pedro to identify that. He doesn't have the skill to do that. That's alright. Torchlight will keep on to it because we don't have fire magic. Oh, yes. Okay. Our first pair of gauntlets. Plus three armor. So, we'll probably give it to Steph because I think her armor is low. Um, give that the Pablo, so that's better by two. Give that the Charlotte, the Sal. Um, all right, we'll check everyone's armor class. Oh shit, Charlotte's got zip. Uh, well, okay, we'll definitely give you the gauntlets. Um, you yeah. can't learn shields, which is a shame. Um, I think that was it there. Um. Yeah, so this is the abandoned temple. Uh, we will explore this at some point. Uh, not at the moment. We'll just finish going around New Sorpagul, exploring a bit. But we will definitely come back to this. Um, pretty sure that's where the, the Spider Queen... And the missing kid is. Um, oh yeah, you can go up to wells in uh, towns and they give you plus two to certain attributes. From memory, this is the luck one. Yeah. And I think it takes up to 11, I believe. No, uh, 15. There you go. Luck just... Um, well, I guess it's handy. It... Uh, Reduces uh, magical attacks and avoids uh, taking as much damage from traps. 
but that will be rendered useless because Charlotte here is going to be our disarm trap master. So, um, closed. Oh, they open at night time for whatever reason. Doing shady business, I reckon. Um, oh, wizard eye ran out. There's some enemies over there. Uh, there's some fruit trees, so we'll get the fruit. Can get a fair bit of there. Right, so good old goblins. Up there's like a goblin keep, which will probably be our first dungeon we explore, and probably in the next video, I'd imagine. Um, so we'll get rid of these guys, being a bit of a nuisance. How good are the sounds and the graphics, like for its time? I love it. Love the style. Alright, you're trying to take down Pablo, I don't appreciate that. We must, we must protect Pablo at all costs. Yeah, so, as you can see, there's some goblins there. We'll probably clear them out, because they're on the outside. Uh, got a couple more chests here. Oh, ooh, chain, yes. I think it was Charlotte that can That's a better shield than what Pablo has. Wizard Eye, we don't need. Anything I can sell, I will, because... Every bit of gold adds up, and in the mid-game, you want to get all the good stuff from the stores, which can jump up in price and spell, so we'll sell anything that we can. Um, oh, here we go. We've got a good spear, but I don't have spear. Um, remove fear, don't need that. Force light, we'll keep again. I don't know. Um, see, I don't have fire magic. Um, what was that? I think it was, yeah, it was Charlotte, that's chain. Look at her arm, it goes from 2 to 11. So we'll take out the gauntlets from her and we'll give it to Steph. There we go, looking more balanced. That's what we want to see. Um, I don't know. Oh, yeah, the shield. Um, <laughs> Pablo's got two unident unidentified items, but that's okay. Um, I reckon Charlotte, or Pablo probably being a merchant, but for now we'll just have Charlotte do that. Uh, we'll go up here. Uh, page down for me, for some reason goes up. There's a fair bit of goblins here, but we should be able to take them out. Look at that, easy. Gotta be careful, so a fair bit of them. And there's different uh, levels of enemies as well, so these are all green, uh, they're the base level ones. Oh, speaking of, but yeah, uh, the red red ones are the hardest, as you can probably tell. Uh, so this is the Goblin King, see the health bar, it's a lot bigger than that, um, and obviously shoots fire, and does a lot of damage. <laughs> Alright, so good thing it's on uh, Pedro, because he can heal himself. So he's on 10 at the moment, press S, heal himself. Only went up by 5. Um, that's okay. Um, Stephanie can heal as well. So, but Pedro's copping it from this king. Good thing uh, Goblin Kings aren't too common, um, otherwise we'll be in a bit of strife. And the harder they are, the more gold you get, so as we saw there, um, we got 40 from the King and 7 just from the regular Goblin, so um, from that point of view, it would be good to have more of them, but not too much. We don't want to lose Pedro. Um, oh, another good sword. That's the exact same. We'll wait until... See how it's blanked out? He can't, we can't select him until he gets the colour back. Uh, dagger... I think hammer is like a mace, so... I don't know. Okay, so... Um, we'll see. Yeah, so the hammer does... Two more maximum damage than the mace. So we'll definitely equip that. Um... 
okay, we'll heal up Steph a bit. We'll save. Donna die. Don't lose our good progress. They're in here. Easy dubs. We'll go around a bit. Okay, yeah, they're all upstairs. Um, in, in between green and red is blue and they're intermediate. Um, so they've got like medium stats for everything. Which we haven't come across one yet, but I'm sure we will. Look at that. And the goblin lives here. You rock. Thank you, you rock, for saying that we rock. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, so um, we'll explore the the keep probably in the next video. I'll say um, it's a fairly in depth um, dungeon. Um, the door's locked. Oh yes, we need to go to the town hall. Have a look at their faces. Um, yeah, we'll go to the town hall because from memory that's where we get the keys to the keep. So if we go here, it's closed. Of course, you're closed. Uh, you serious? I'm two minutes late. So typical, but we'll rest until dawn and go there. I need your help. Okay, Janice. Um, yeah, so we go Goblin Watch, we'll get the key, give it to Pablo. Um, oh yeah, we can do uh, bounties, bounty hunts as well. So if you kill, for instance, a cannibal, you get 600 gold. Um, cannibals are easy. Um, but they're a couple of towns away, so we won't. Uh, Frank Quest. Um, oh yeah, Rescue Sherry. We're from the Shadow Guild. We will not do that. Because that is too hard for us at the moment. So I remember that quest. Um, Alright, so I reckon we'll... Um, we'll just sell up the stuff we got here. For my OCD's sake, we need to identify these items. <laughs> um, and we need to learn some merchants, I think. Um... So yeah, it's a pirate cutlass, plus five, does a lot of damage, Coming is what you want. Don't touch the merchandise. Okay, Harry. Um, we'll identify that. See what you got for sale. They are very good gauntlets. Um Oh yeah, here we go. It's the first enchanted item, so plus five endurance, so uh, who's got low endurance? So if we were to give it to Charlotte. Her hit points would go up to like 37 or something, um, which would be good when we have more gold. Um, but I've got other priorities at the moment. Uh, okay, so we're Don't gonna do sell all the armor we got, which is just that. Come back soon. Um, Looking for a weapon? Sell the weapons we got. Um, oh, no. That won't be enchanted this early on, so we'll sell that. We'll sell these scrolls. Um, aha, yeah, there's some enemies there too. We'll clear them out. What we will do is identify these rings though. Okay, they're not worth anything. We'll sell those. Often they're the first items that will be enchanted. Uh, often they're pretty good to start off with. Um, obviously better than nothing. And do you want to know a little secret? If you press the side of this here building, we'll get a scroll. Pro sure to fly, yeah. Um, because there's a house there that, um, I forget what it is. I think it's learning exp, no. It's an air magic expert, I believe. Or master even. I think it's expert. Um, and yeah, it's the only way to uh, get up there or to use the jump spell, which we don't got. Um, Alright, we got enough gold. I'm confident enough to get fire magic and get torchlight. So we'll go back up here. The magic of fire, air, water and earth. 
Porch life. Thank you very much. Um, yes. Learn that. Well, that. What else can we learn? Air, water, and earth. We're only learn learn these yet for Charlotte. Spare going these spell points would be pretty much useless. Uh, we can't learn any here. Um, for Pedro, the water magic we won't need yet, but it's probably the most important. Uh, elemental class. Um, it's got Town Portal, Lloyd's Beacon, Water Walk. Um, very important spells. D. Oh, yeah, Stephanie can learn that too. You should draw it. Um, I will probably learn Spirit Magic at some point. Uh, mind, I've never really used. Spirit, you can get some good. Uh, stat boosters and stuff, um, so we'll definitely do that. Um, Alright, what I'll do is clear out, excuse me, some of the enemies over here. Um, and there's a lot more enemies over there, but there's a shit ton of mages. Don't want to deal with them yet. Yeah, they're all in there. We'll leave them be. Um, we'll take these guys out. And we'll have our first barrels, which is exciting. Um, take these guys out. You want to be annoying, though. All right. Okay, so we've got a chest here. Uh huh. We've got orange, which I think is intellect protection. Yeah, okay. I'm thinking orange barrel is intellect, which might be here. Oh, look at that. Barrel of orange is intellect. We'll pause it on to get us. Uh, intellect is for our druids and our archers. Uh, so we'll obviously give it to Stephanie. Uh, so her spell points are 31. 31 at the moment, now it's 34. Um, so Intellect's 21 at the moment. Uh, purple is speed, which is armor class. So who's got the least? Pedro, you're up, mate. Okay, that didn't increase it. Um, it's only plus one speed. Um, but it does increase armor class. Um, that's empty, and that's empty. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of these guys. Um, we'll take them on probably several videos down the track. Um, we can go up here, see. Um, Greetings and salutations. Perception Greetings and, salutations. and identification, which will be handy. Alright, speaking of actually, I think I will get that expert body magic, which... Oh, where were you? What side? It was this side. I think it was this Hello. house. It was this house, wasn't it? Greetings and salutations. Yeah, uh, yeah, we'll do that. So, we are an expert in body magic, so... So, instead of plus... Five, I think it'll be plus ten. Alright, oh, we'll test on Pablo. So it's on thirty-three, increase to forty, so plus seven. Uh, the more we pump into it, the more we can heal, which is what we Oh hello there. Greetings and salutations. The noble, what do you offer? You have no skills to offer. Well I don't really want you around then, uh, sorry to say. Um, you can right click, so burg burglar um, what on earth is it? Did you okay, uh, doesn't have anything to offer. Oh, Gate Master! Oh, oh. Greetings. Oh, oh. Big. Uh, look at this. Press join. He can uh, cast Town Portal at a master level to any city in Enroth. But it costs 2000 and he gets 20% of all the gold we find, which is not really a good deal. 
Um, you're not that desperate to go to any other city at the moment. And besides, it'll be way too tough anyway. Um, so I reckon that will uh, that'll be a good stop for this episode. Um, so we've explored around the Sorpagul a bit, cleared out some enemies. Uh, what we'll do is probably explore Goblin Watch Keep next. Um, that'll probably take a couple of videos. Um, find some good loot there. Maybe a quest as well. Uh, we'll see. But, um, I think we made some good progress. We've leveled up a bit. Uh, got some new weapons, armor. Uh, Leveled up as I said, and um, healed off a few people, so I reckon that's a good way to finish the video. Um, if you have made it this far, again, thank you so much for being here, I truly appreciate you. And if you are, let me know down below what, what is your favourite Might and Magic game. Because I'm assuming you'd be into Might and Magic if you're watching this. And I'm assuming that you would have played the others as well. So let me know what your favourite is. Um, we'll get some discussion going. Um, for all I know, I'm probably talking to myself right now. <laughs> um, that's okay. Uh, we all got to start somewhere. Even if it's just one person, it's a start. And I really do appreciate uh, every bit of support I get. So thank you so much again. If you have made it this far um, so I'll, I'll leave you now uh, for episode 2 thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next one cheers I will save yeah right. we'll see you in episode 3 cheers